Hi there Aries, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Raquel, and for those of you who have subscribed to me, you may have noticed that my, um, that my channel name has changed. It is no longer Journeys Through the Divine, it is now called Soul Reflections. I have changed the name of my business. So, um, with that public service announcement, um, I just want to say I am doing monthly readings again, and this will be your monthly for October. Um, yeah, and I'm doing it differently. So, I'm going to be pulling moon message cards for the month, so you'll get one moon message oracle card. And then I'm going to go through and give you a tarot reading with my Mystic Dreamers. And then I will be giving you a Romance Angel card to peer into your love life. And then a Alice in Wonderland Oracle to sum up the message for your reading or any last messages that Spirit has for you. Okay? All right. So we're going to get right into it, Aries. Let's see what the moon has to say for you. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does the moon got to say for Aries for the month of October? And please remember not to give all your power up to a reading. You alone are um, responsible for the choices that you make. What I give you here could be and can be a um, possible outcome, but the future can always change. It's not set in stone. So, um, please take what resonates and dump the rest. All right, let's see what they've got for you. All right, cycles. So this is all about some karmic cycle. I feel like it's going to be ending, and the reason why I say it's karmic is because of the picture. Um, they were showing me these stars, and I thought of Chiron when I saw this. Uh, so this is, I feel like many of you are completing a karmic cycle here um, in the month of October. You are, you know, we have Saturn um, going direct on September 18th, and <laughs> he's all about, like, clearing out karma and stuff. So I feel like... This is, um, you guys are going to be majorly affected um, from it. I feel like Libra is as well, and Capricorn. But um, with you, I got the cycles card. So this is clearing out a karmic cycle. All righty, let's see what the Tarot has to say. They can usually sum it up pretty good. Spirit, my soul family. Can we help paint a bigger picture for Aries? Aries, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please and thank you, my guys. Karmic debt is being paid. Give me your hand. I feel like, um, okay, I just heard give me your hand. So this could be you helping somebody. Um... For somebody helping you out, giving you a hand. I heard give me your hand. It could be an engagement um, to somebody. Some type of engagement. One more shuffle and then I'll cut. No need necessary either. So, um, there might be something that you are in the middle of doing that you don't necessarily have to do in order to clear out your karmic cycle or in order to move yourself forward. All right, so, I don't have the back. I always do that with my stick. Um, nine of Wands. Get the Nine of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, it's like you've put in all, forth all this effort, all this time to and, and passion into something and like now you're waiting now you're just waiting for you know the profits of it to come in 
Um, and from what I heard with spirit, with the no need necessary, I feel like this right here is the energy you're supposed to be in right now. You are supposed to be in that because the cycle is about the change for you. So I feel like it's spirit's way of saying just slow down, wait, don't put, don't dump any more effort into this, see what comes out first, and then dump more effort into it. All right, so we've got the Eight of Swords coming up in the first of the month, and that would, um, that would be very adequate with this Nine of Wands, because it's like you can't see where to go next. You don't know what step to take next, right? But you want to take another step. But we have the Nine of Wands as your energy for October. So it's like you basically waiting for your for your, the fruits of your labor to come in, right? So um, th those two energies can get mixed up. And that, that could be the reason why you don't know what to do next, okay? We got the Hierophant mid month. So some of you might be going to a counselor or an advisor, um, somebody to help you gain some more knowledge on this situation or gain a different perspective on this situation that you're going through um, in October. I feel like it's you wanting to acquire the right knowledge to know what steps you have to take um, to complete this cycle here. Then we've got five of wands. We've got some conflict or competition coming in at the end of the month. So this could be some conflict um, around family or work. I'm getting family or work for some of you. But um, I just heard don't engage. Don't engage in this. Be like this nine of wands right here. Don't engage. Don't en don't engage. High priestess is clarifying the eight of wands. Okay, or the eight of swords. So this is telling me that there is some type of decision that you have to make at the beginning of the month. You're having a hard time doing it. You can't see the right steps, the next thing to take. And spirit is saying that you need to quiet your mind, wait, quiet your mind, use your intuition, and then you'll know where to go next. I feel like they're saying quiet your mind, you know you have the knowledge or you're going to seek the knowledge for this come mid-month. We've got the emperor <laughs> clarifying the hierophant. Okay, so these are two major arcana. So they want you to take control mid-month. They want you to take control. Take control of your situation. This is your card, Aries. All right, this is your card, okay? The emperor is your card. So they want you to take control mid-month. You know, they want you to gain that knowledge. They want you to, um, they want you to, you know, take control of your own situation, of your own environment. All right. Whereas at the beginning of the month, it was all about waiting. The mid month is all about control. And with nine of wands as your overall, I feel like, you know, the beginning of the month, you kind of let control go and you kind of just went with the flow. And now come mid month, it's like it's all out of control. And now you got to rein it back in. You're going to have to seek some higher knowledge or some higher counsel for that. We got five of cups clarifying the five of wands. So some of you, this is a love situation. This is somebody that you're very um, competitive with um, or you have competition in this. It, could, it doesn't have to be a love situation. It could be a family situation as well. Um, I feel like you're grieving over somebody. I feel like you're grieving over, I feel like, you know, this is, fives are all about competition and conflict, okay? the bump in our road that we need to, to move to, a, to ascend to a different chapter. I feel like you have the knowledge in this though, and I feel like you are not going to give in to this. I feel like you're just going to be like, yeah, well, whatever. And I feel like that's what spirit is saying for you to do here, to not give in to this um, 
to this negativity right here and to just and to just go your own way all right grieve and be done this these you know these and i feel like mid month you come to that resolution you know this is all about you waiting to see what's happening next you know is what i put in it going to come back to me okay and i feel like this whole month it's like you're just gathering the knowledge. You're gaining control of your own destiny. Destiny. You're gaining control of your own mind. And I really feel like for some of you, you may have given up that control to other people. And now this month, you're really getting it back. You're really in your own element, Aries. You're gaining that, that knowledge back. You're gaining back that control. But... I feel because of that, people are going to be combative with you. And your advice is to not engage. This is a new cycle, okay? So this part is an old cycle right here. It's like the last bit of the cycle came to bite you in the butt, right? Don't engage with it. Just walk on by, say your piece, and walk on by. All right, let's get some love advice for you, Aries. Spirits. My darlings, what's going on for Aries? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the Love Department for October. Please and thank you, my soul family. Got two. Alrighty. So, this is for singles and for couples, just so you know. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Past life relationship, you have known each other before. So for those of you who are single, you're going to be meeting somebody this month. This um, is somebody that I feel like you're going to be meeting them this month. I feel like you're going to be meeting them like mid-month. I think it's this Hierophant. I think it's the Hierophant. I really do. I feel like it's somebody that can give you good advice. Um, and this is somebody that you've shared a past life with. All right. This is somebody that has been in many if not one, many past lives with you, all right? So, um, and then, you know, it's getting to know each other. So I feel like you don't know them in this life, and I feel like you're going to be getting to know them this month. And, you know, maybe they, maybe they point some things out to you that you hadn't thought of before, and that's what makes the end of your month so combative, all right? Um... For those of you in relationships, this is you strengthening your bonds, you um, really um, getting to know each other all over again, because I feel like you have changed. You have changed and they have changed. And it's like you need to get to know each other all over again, because if, you, if you're not careful, the past can, can and will repeat itself, okay? Now that's for um, couple. That's for couples. I'm not saying that you're not past life lovers. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that you don't. With this, when I pull this card for cup, and I and I'm get what I'm, the message I'm getting is with this card with couples. It's not a past life relationship. It's they don't want you to repeat the past life that you guys just came out of. You see what I mean? They don't want you to repeat the past mistakes you've had with each other. They want you to enter into a new cycle. Okay? All right, Aries. Let's get one final advice card for you. Spirits, my soul family. What bit of advice do we have for Aries? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please and thank you, my soul family. What last, minute, last message do we have for Aries? What can we leave Aries with? Well, it just wanted to fly right to you, didn't it? <laughs> Keep your temper. You know who else got this? Pisces got this. Are you involved with the Pisces? Keep your temper, especially around the time that um, this combative situation happens, okay? Because I feel like if you don't, you're going to lose something very good, all right? 
keep your temper, go about it in a cool, calm, collected way, say your piece and walk away. And it's very, I know it's very hard for you, Aries. Um, but this, this is all about, you know, you cleaning and cleansing and clearing your cycle. Okay. And I feel like, you know, the, you're a little lost at the beginning of October, but I feel like the mid of October, you're going to finally start figuring things out. You're going to be getting advice from people. You're going to be taking back control of your life per se. And then when you do that, people are going to come at you. They're going to come at you because they don't like the way that Aries is now like being, you know, they, they don't like that Aries has now grown and evolved, you know, because you're not on their vibrations anymore. And that's why they're attacking you. That's why they're causing conflict with you. All right. This is all about you keeping your cool. All right. You growing, putting forth the effort and keeping your cool at the end of the month and waiting for the cycle to change. All right, Aries. Well, I hope that resonated with you. If it did, please leave me a comment. I'd like to know how I'm helping people or how this reading plays out for people. Also, if um, uh, there was something else I was going to say and it escaped my head. Um, yeah, I forgot what I was going to say. Anyways, I hope this worked out for you, Aries, and I hope that you have a blessed um, October. I hope that everything goes well for you, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!